Okay, YouTube audience, go ahead, give me shit. I bought an iPhone 10. <laughs> hey guys, Greg C96 here, coming at you with a video. Um, so, I got an iPhone 10. Give me all the crap about it you want in the comments. Um, I don't really care. My money. I can do what I want. Um, <laughs> uh, because I can, I guess, is the mentality. But basically, I had an iPhone 6, and I've replaced the lightning port on it three times now. And, or twice, it's one, either two or three times, and I didn't want to do it again, um, especially because the phone's old and it's been RMA once because it bent in the first place. Um, and hold on, I was not prepared for this. And you can see maybe you can kind of see there's that chip in the corner that's happened on all of the iPhone 6s I've owned. <laughs> so I didn't feel like fixing that one again. So I went out and I was between the eight and the 10 and I just decided to screw it, went for the 10. Um, so I've had this phone for about a week and just here are some general comments and feedback. So first things first, a lot of people were complaining about how, um, you know, the gestures and it's totally different and it's not like an iPhone that they've ever used before, or, you know, they're slower or whatever. From my experience, um, the gestures are also very intuitive, comparative to the old system, you know, swipe up from the bottom for home, my thumb's naturally already going there when I want to use the home button. Um, swiping down from the top right for a control center, I was used to in very little time at all because I've used Android devices before where you swipe down from the top for like your Wi-Fi and your flashlight and all that stuff. Um, you know, swiping up and to the right instead of double tapping. Okay, that's fine too because you're basically just moving your thumb across the screen like this. I'll unlock and I'll show my point. Basically just moving your thumb across the screen like that. Oh, hey, I'm not on the screen. But like basically just swiping up. Come on. It's hard to do from the side here um, because, you know, grip on the phone's a little weird, but that's pretty easy. Um, I haven't had the face ID issues that a lot of people have talked about, so I don't know because I saw this from a lot of people. Um, Casey Neistat, I Justine, some other people that I don't remember the names of, but they were complaining that face ID didn't work through their sunglasses and I have not had that problem at all. And I don't know if they're just wearing cheap sunglasses and I'm not, or it's the other way around. I don't know. My face ID seems to work through my couple hundred dollar sunglasses. So for me, that's been a non-issue at all. Um, the phone is lightning fast, which is, you know, expected. It's the latest and greatest. Um, a lot of people are talking about how face ID is, you know, slower than touch ID, which obviously it is. Um, but for me coming from this guy here to this guy, um, face ID is as fast as first gen touch ID basically. <laughs> um, cause the six was the second phone from iPhone from Apple to have touch ID and man, that touch ID is slow. So for me, face ID is not a big thing. Um, I realized just how slow that touch ID was when I had an iPhone 6S for work and oh my God, iPhone 6's touch ID is slow. So face ID, not a big deal for me. Um, I haven't had any of the random app lockups and crashes that people have been complaining about, how they just lock up and freeze up in an app and they can't do anything about it. Um, every once in a while, I hit the wrong key combination for a uh, screenshot because you know normally I'm used to home button and lock button can't do that anymore I think it's home button and volume up yes every once in a while I do home button and volume down I don't know if that's just a me being stupid thing or what um, here's some of the things that I don't like about it um, in the top right corner you no longer get your battery percentage which kind of sucks um, your status bar for cell service is just a status bar now. It doesn't actually tell you, like before you would get, you know, your carrier AT&T and all that. So if you swipe down and get into the control center, it still gives you all that information. But for me, um, because of where I work, very often I am on uh, Wi-Fi calling. 
because of the fact that I just don't get service in my building. So for Wi-Fi calling, you get like zero bars of service still, but it just works. So for me, um, I'm used to being able to look at the top left corner of my screen and there it is, AT&T Wi-Fi as opposed to just AT&T or no service. So for me, um, I do miss that feature as well as I miss the fact that it no longer in the upper top part of the screen tells you your status of being connected to a VPN. Um, because outside of work, I'll VPN and use File Browser as my app of choice to connect to network shares for work if I need files outside of work on my phone, um, if I'm like at a client site or something, for example. So yeah, um, there is my rundown of what you know a week has been like with the iPhone 10 so far. Uh, so far, so good. I was used to the new features that replace the old stuff like legitimately within five minutes. Um, I haven't talked about the notch because the notch is such a subjective thing. I could give less than a shit. <laughs> I don't care about the notch um, because the rest of the screen is just so freaking massive and very much the same size as my old phone. Like there's only the slightest bit of size difference. So for me, I loved the size of this. This case makes this phone just a little bit too bulky for me. Um, so I'm looking to get a better case for it. This is the Tech 21 case that everyone loves and I'm just not a huge fan of. So um, yeah, basically that's really all I have to say. Um, week with the iPhone 10, it's been good so far. It's my money. I can do what I want with it. If you want to give me shit about it, go for it, but I don't really care. Thank you guys oh so very much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.